everyone. Lisa, thank you so much for the introduction and for coordinating this presentation. As Lisa mentioned, I'm Sean Louis Michelle, and we're excited to share a little bit about Uber for Business and a couple of solutions that could be beneficial for your franchises. So as an agenda today, um, we, we've been working with IPC for, for quite some time to set up an on-point agenda. We would like this to be as interactive as possible. So if anybody has a question, please feel free to chat it in, you know, to chat it into the site and we'll address it immediately or let you know that we'll be diving into it in more detail shortly. So for today's agenda, what we're gonna do is talk about some of the benefits of Uber for business. I may take a couple of minutes just to do a high level of over, uh, high level overview of Uber, Uber for business and some of those solutions that could be beneficial for your restaurants. Evelyn is then going to jump into a live environment and share with you the simplicity and customization of our dashboard where you'll be able to utilize these Uber for Business solutions. And then we can finish this up with any unanswered questions and walk you through on how to get signed up if it's appropriate uh, for your restaurants. So before I, before we begin, our you know, I just wanted to if for everybody on the call right now, I wanted to thank you guys for being Uber customers. We know a lot of the employees right now are currently using Uber just on a personal basis. And they're our customers and it's the feedback that we get from them that really help us to be as strong as we possibly can. So, so, so why are we having this call today? You know, IPC reached out to us um, last year at some point and they were receiving some feedback on struggles that franchisee, franchise owners were facing on employees having transportation issues with either coming or leaving work. And with recent price increases on gas, cars, and, and now even financing, this issue unfortunately has and probably will continue to be compounded. We heard about the importance of having employees at the restaurants in order to deliver a great, quick customer experience. And today we're gonna share with you how we can help create a seamless solution for you to provide that transportation when needed for your employees which all will start from the biz, Uber for Business dashboard. So before we share with you our solution, I just briefly wanted to share with you where Uber is today as a company. Today we operate in almost 70 countries and 10,000 cities around the world, world. We have put in over 60 safety requirements in place for both riders and drivers to make sure that your employees have a great experience. Our average pickup time is about five minutes and with 110 million users around the world, there's a good chance that, that your employees are already very familiar with Uber. So it's not that much of, of an educational system. Uh, with Uber for Business and the dashboard, and Evelyn, if we could go to the next screen, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have access and visibility to create and deliver ride programs for your employees. You're gonna have real-time visibility. So when somebody actually, uh, completes a ride, you're gonna be able to see that ride and you're gonna have the detailed reporting on all the rides that are being taken by individuals. And shortly, Evelyn's gonna walk you through this in a live environment in much more detail. Well, through the dashboard, you're going to be able to have access to one of our solutions that can be beneficial called vouchers. And Evelyn, could we go through the next slide? Fantastic. So from from the dashboard right here, on demand, you're gonna be able to create and customize a voucher. Vouchers work very, very similar to a gift card, but only better, as you can put parameters associated with the rides. And best of all, you'll only pay for what's actually used. You also can control when the voucher can be used, on what days, and how much you wanna spend and who gets it. You even have location restrictions to say, hey, listen, you can use this voucher, but this voucher will only work if you're coming to the subway office or leaving the subway office. It can only be used from at 10 p.m. at night uh, after a shift, or it might be something that's only valid for one week or one day or certain hours. That's all the functionality that you're gonna have, and Evelyn's gonna go through a little bit more detail of that. They're so easy to set up. Um, it's, it's as easy as just putting in a couple of pieces of information and with Within a couple of minutes, you could have a voucher set up and actually send it out uh, to your employees to use. And they're even easier to redeem. So all your employees are gonna get either an email or a text message with the voucher that you create in the dashboard. 
They're simply going to click on that link. It's automatically going to be associated to the Uber account. And when they ride, they'll be able to use that voucher for payment of the ride, as long as that ride fits in the parameters that you guys set up. And as, as a side note, we work with many corporations that are providing these vouchers, um, not only for rides, but also for meals. And so these corporations are giving people budget to actually go ahead and spend money on Uber Eats. And we want to thank you very much for Subway being on the Uber Eats marketplace where those people can go ahead and enjoy a meal with using a, a voucher. So, so we also are putting together an other solution. You may ask, what if employees don't have the Uber app? Or what if employees don't want to, you know, set up a, a, an account with Uber? So for those employees that don't want to set it up or they may not have a smartphone, we got you covered. We have this solution called Central. And what it does is it allows you to dispatch a ride to your employee. And you can notify that employee, employee via text message or a landline or cell phone. They don't even need to have a smartphone. Um, it's really easy to use. You'll see some screenshots right here, but ultimately you're putting in the person's name, uh, starting location, ending location, and when they want to travel, and everything's taken care of from there. So, I'm going to pause right now. You probably heard enough of me uh, at this point in time, and I'm going to hand this over to Evelyn, who's going to walk you through what it actually looks like in a live environment so you know exactly what to expect. Awesome. Thank you, John Louis. I'm going to stop sharing my screen really quick to switch over to the live environment demo session. One second. All righty. So I am logged in here to the Uber for Business dashboard. So this is the main dashboard that you will have access to when you create an account with us. And um, it gives you insights into what vouchers have been used, um, if you created any central trips, which trips have been taken, what amount um, has been spent, and you can filter by location, employee name, um, and different time frames. So this is the activity tab. Um, so in order to access the two tools that we have just gone over, the vouchers tool and the central tool, you can just hover over to the quick link section, which is on the left-hand side here. And so the first product I'll go over is the vouchers tool. So to access that tool, you'll click provide vouchers and it'll open up a new tab, which looks like this. So I'm going to go ahead and discard that there, um, but this is the main voucher tool. And this is where you would create a campaign, which is a voucher that you can distribute to your employees. So to get started, you'll click new campaign, this black button to the left. And for this use case, you would select rides voucher, but there are other voucher options. Like if you wanted to provide an eats voucher for your employees, if they did a great job this week, or if you wanted to allow them access to rides or eats, you can have um, that option as well. But for this case, we'll select rides vouchers because we're um, offering the solution for employees that aren't able to get to your um, subway location or get home from your subway location. So you'll click rides, you'll have to title um, this campaign. So in this case, I'll just put subway um, store number one, two, three as a test. The next section here is you'll have to select the value. So you'll enter the number of recipients. So let's say if you have five employees, you wanted to give each one of them a voucher so that way they can get to work this week if they don't have a ride. You can adjust this to whatever um, number that you employees that you have or however many people you wanna send this voucher to. For value type, you have three options. You can either opt to fully cover a ride offer an Uber credit or amount off per ride. The most common use case we see here is Uber credit. So if you know that your employees live within five to 10 miles and you um, don't see that their Uber ride can be over $20, you can give them a credit of 25 per recipient. There's also the option to refill this ride. So if you or refill this credit. So if you know that your employee, for example, is out of a, a car for the week, their car's in the shop. So they're not gonna be able to get to um, Subway without 
their car. So you can give them a voucher and it can refill daily if you know that they have a shift every day of the week, or you can do it weekly if you only wanna um, give them a refill once a week. So you, you control all of this based on, you know, your employees and your store and the use case. So you have the option to do that. You can fully customize it all. For duration, if let's say you only wanted, you didn't want to refill the voucher, you only wanted it a one-time um, voucher, you can set um, the parameters on when it expires. So let's say if you know that your employee has a shift over the weekend and they don't have a car, you can... Um, Start it up on Friday, finish it up on Sunday, so that way um, they can choose when they use it, but they have access to it within that time frame. So I'm just going to select that. Hopefully, it allows me. Last time I was having a little bit of issues because this is a demo account. Sometimes it could be a little finicky, um, but I'll just set placeholders for now. So for location, like John Louis uh, mentioned earlier, you can set location restrictions so it can only be redeemed. Um, if they're going to your subway location or if they're leaving your subway location. So you can select only to and from specific locations. So in this case, um, I typed it in earlier and it worked, but let's see if it comes up. So I'll type in subway six as an example. I'm not sure which one that is, but it's in New York here. And um, yeah, you can select that and you can also control the radius. So if you wanted it to be within like a few blocks of that subway, you can go down to 0.25 miles and all the way up to 25 miles um, as the radius. So you can really control the features on all the restrictions on how it could be used. And again, you can allow pickups in the area or drop offs in the area, and you can add multiple locations if you have multiple stores that you want to provide this voucher to. And so for more features, you can also add an internal memo if you wanted to, um, for reporting purposes, know exactly which store this voucher was created for. You can add the store number here, or you can leave it blank. It's completely up to you. It's not, um, it's an optional field. It's not required. All right, let's see if I can go to the next step here. Um, you'll notice on the right hand side that you'll get a quick snippet of what the total um, value of your spend would be an estimated spend, max total budget, um, the number, like a recap of basically what this voucher includes. And if you click here, you'll see what recipients will see on their end. So they'll be able to locate the voucher at checkout. And we'll click next. So this is where you would um, figure out how you would want to distribute your voucher. So you can either enter your employee's email or phone number in this section, and they'll get the voucher as soon as you click add and finish. Or you can set this up for the future and then um, distribute it at a later time. So there's two options to distribute the link. You can either have it one general link that will um, allow multiple employees to use that same link, or you can personalize the links and each employee will receive their own unique link that they can then um, add to their wallet in the Uber app. So I'll click personal links for this example, and then I'll click finish and your campaign is ready to go. So to access your campaign, you just click see voucher details, and then you'll get a recap here of what you set up, the title of the, the voucher, duration, value, and other restrictions. And you can edit all of these leading up to the voucher start date. And once um, employees start to redeem these vouchers and use them, you can check out the tracking tab. And this is where you'll see um, more details on who has redeemed the voucher, who has used it, and the amount that they have used. And again, as John Louis mentioned earlier, um, you won't be charged for the full amount up front. You'll only be charged on what is used. So let's say if your employee only used $10 out of the $25 credit that you provided, um, you'll only be charged for that $10 and that 25, the rest, the remainder of the amount, um, you won't be charged for. So it'll just get erased if you expired, um, if it expired, if you set a, a time frame for that. So that's vouchers in a nutshell. Um, any questions before I move on to the central example? And at the end of this presentation, our emails will be included in one of the slides. So if you have any questions at a later time, you can feel free to reach out to us 
and we'll help out. We, we're happy to help out with anything that you may need. So I'll move on to central here. So again, going back to the main Uber dashboard. So in order to access the central tool, again, you'll hover to the quick link section and you'll click arrange rides. And so when you click on that, this tab will open up and it's called Uber Central. So Uber Central is made for um, any employees that you have that don't have a mobile phone or would just prefer to not use the Uber app. Um, if you know, with downloading and redeeming the voucher, it's super easy, but, you know, this is an option for those employees that would rather just not use the Uber app and um, you want to just send it to them directly. So to do this, you just click create new single ride. And you'll have to enter a few um, in a few details about your employee. So it'll be their first and last name and phone number. So again, if your employee doesn't have a um, yeah, mobile device, you can set up their landline number here. And instead of a text message, they will get a phone call with information on the driver's ETA, their um, car details, license plates. Um, that way they know when to go outside to meet their driver to get to your subway location. So in this example, I'll use my information here. So first and last name, phone number, and mine is a mobile device. And so when you set this up, the way that the mobile um, option looks like is just a text message. So if your employee has a mobile device, just doesn't have the Uber app, they'll get a text message and they can click on a link that'll take them to a, a mobile web browser that shows them live updates on when the ride will get to them. So you can opt to change the rider language. So if your employee prefers a different language, you can select from this list here. If not, the default is English. If you um, would, if the employee prefers a call instead of a text message, they can get an, a phone call. You can toggle there. And if you or your store manager would like insight on where your employee is, you can share the trip status. And you just have to enter a phone number, a secondary phone number, and that trip will get sent to that store manager. You can add multiple multiple contacts as well if you have a few store managers that want insight on this information. And so in this next section, where are they going? So you'll enter their pickup address. So I'll enter that there as an example, and then I'll enter a subway location here. So this is the closest subway to me. And you'll get insight on the miles, the mileage, the um, ETA on the, um, the timing that the driver will get there and the estimated drop off time as well. You'll also get insight on the cost of the ride. So the default Uber X here will cost 1397 as an example. And there are two ways that you can request the ride. So you can either schedule the ride for now or for 30 days in advance. So by clicking scheduled here, you can select today or like again, 30 days in advance. So you can opt to whatever date, choose the specific time. So let's say you know your employee mentioned that on July 13th, um, their family member will be taking their car. So they'll be out of their car. So you'll be able to check on their, you know, their schedule, what time they start, and you can select, you know, 30 minutes before their shift, 7 a.m. They get to the store at 7.30, right when they are supposed to start. So, you know, of course, you'll have to know, like, how long it'll take them to get to your location and all of that. But, um, but yeah, you have the option to schedule it 30 days in advance. The other option is if you click flexible, you'll be able to give them um, a ride on a specific date. So, let's say the 13th again, they know that, you know, they're not going to have a car on that date. They'll get a text message and they have to click on the text message and say, I'm ready to be picked up now. That way um, you're not scheduling it for them in advance. They can just click when they're ready to, to get the ride and the, the driver will get dispatched over to them. So they have a flexibility of, um, you know, saying when they're ready to go. Yeah, those are the two options there. And then for vehicle type, you can select um, from any of these options here. The default is Uber X, but if you, you know, if you're, getting your employee home and they're sent, taking home like packages of something, or you know that they're gonna have more people with them, you can select Uber Excel as an, an example here, and it gives them the option to have six people um, riding with them. 
but again, default is always UberX. And other features here, internal memo. So again, you can enter the store um, store number if you wanna know exactly what store, if you have multiple stores you're trying to um, utilize this feature for, just for reporting purposes. And for a note to the driver, if you want to notify your driver that your um, employee is hard of hearing, you can give them a heads up there or any other information that you would like to relay to your driver. And that's basically how you would set up a ride. You would just click this black button once you're ready to um, uh, dispatch the driver and you would be all set. You'll have full insight too on any past trips that you've created, any that are in progress or any that are upcoming. So pretty cool features there. But yeah, that's basically central, super easy to use. Um, but we have a business support team too as well if you need help. On this bottom left-hand side, there's a phone number for li live support, and you can either email in or access our help center that has frequently asked questions and answers. Any questions? Awesome. I will take it back or give it back to you, um, John Louis, so you can finish off the rest of the presentation. Uh, thank you so much, Evelyn. So hopefully you guys saw how easy it was once you're in the dashboard to go ahead and either create a voucher or to create uh, to use central. And ultimately, we know that there could be use cases for both. Every store is a little bit differently, so we wanted to give you the options. So now you may be asking, okay, how do we get signed up? So to be able to implement either voucher or central, we've set up a seamless secure process to create a custom subway Uber for business dashboard. Um, the process will use your personal Uber account as a verification tool only. If you don't currently have a personal Uber account, shame on you, no, just kidding. It's so easy for you guys to set one up and there's actually a link to be able to create an Uber account within five minutes. IPC has been great too, and they've actually set up a dedicated page. I think there's a screenshot on the right hand. There is a knowledge base article there. There's, uh, there's communication tools. There's how to get set up. Once you click on, you know, I'm interested in it from that, uh, from that page right there, we're going to get your, we're going to ask for just some basic information. And then behind the scenes, Evelyn and her team are going to create that dashboard for you and get that information out to you so you can get set up. And as Evelyn mentioned too, once you're in your dashboard, you're going to have access to business support. That business, you know, we, we think Uber support is good. You know, if, when an issue happens, sometimes it may take 24 hours or 48 hours to get that resolved. With business support, you now have a dedicated team to be able to answer those questions a lot quicker and get you the answers that you need. So we look, we, first of all, we want to thank you again for being such a, a valued partner of Uber with Uber Eats. We're hoping that this solution will help alleviate some of the, the pains that you might have with employees and your transportation needs. And we look forward to helping you however we possibly can. And thank you guys so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. Hey, everybody. Thank you for joining. I appreciate your interest in um, Uber for Business. Hope you all have a great day. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.